This is a uh, real deal to Piro along with DTC and we are going to be racing Gorilla War on uh, the hard difficulty level. Um, so I guess I'll kind of explain what's going on as we go. Um, and I'll get a countdown going and I'm going five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, so we're here in Cuba and we have to save it from the, the uh, <laughs> take from Fidel Castro taking over. So we add some interesting mechanics. You'll see those letters that pop up when the um, you shoot the red guys. That's how you get your power-ups in this one. I have the one I want right now, which is the the T, and you hear that beeping, that means you need to get the heck out of that tank. <laughs> Alright, so I, I died there. There is one good thing about this game, is that there are unlimited continues. Um, but overall, definitely a fun run and gun play if you, if you have not heard of it. Um, I hadn't until last year around this time. So it's a lot of fun. Um, so we're playing on the hard difficulty today, which seems like an interesting choice, but it actually is because the hard difficulty level has our, the only difference between that and easy is that our characters are going to move faster and the tanks are going to move faster. There aren't more enemies, there aren't more stages, just makes for a more fluid game with much far less lag. Um, so we have now gotten through the first stage here. Alright, so there's our first game over, which is okay. Just gotta make sure, make sure not to... Just gotta make sure you continue, because I have had games before where I have just shot past ahead. And, That's where you get in trouble, because all of a sudden you've um, gone into a game with unlimited continues and you just game over, game over yourself. All right, so now we have a mini boss here. You really just kind of want to get behind him and just spam away. I don't have any power-ups right now, so that battle took a little longer. You hear the tank beeping, get the heck out of that tank. One of the things you really want to do is you want to always... Ah, oh, that tank went down quick. You want to make sure you're always moving forward in this one. Since you do have unlimited continues, like you want to just kind of make sure that kind of running on all cylinders here. Uh, a rough, rough part of the stage there. <laughs> Try to make up some time on this boss fight. Down he goes. Alright, heading down to stage three. Race pretty close right now. We're both just finishing up stage two about the same time. Set the city free! Alright, so we are heading into this stage here and in order to set the city free, we're going to spend a lot of time in the water. Hopefully not too much time. You move far slower when you're in the water. So you kind of want to stay along the edges of the stage while taking out the soldiers that are coming at you in the water. That's really kind of all there is to this part of the level. 
Um, once we get to the boss area, there are some uh, safety strats that we'll be utilizing there, and I'll kind of go into that when we arrive at the submarine. our first part of this boss fight. You want to just stand right on this spot and if you as long as you stand on this spot here the bullets are not random and so they're not gonna they're not gonna shoot you. So you really just kind of want to stay right here. I don't have any power up so this is gonna be a slow slightly slower fight but once it, once the yellow guys start coming in, you'll know that this is, this fight is getting closer to the end. Because the yellow guys will pop in, and then um, a red guy will pop in, and you'll know that the red guy is kind of your mini boss of this area. So he'll take a few more shots than everybody else. But really, you just kind of want to spam your bombs and everything there. And then once that guy is is all said and done just kind of want to get back up here as quickly as you can and just start spamming up here this race is very close right now as we both headed out of stage three Avoided the helicopters, but wasn't able to avoid anything else. Alright, so I managed to keep the tank for a little while, which is unusual for me. Alright, there goes the tank. Alright, you gotta avoid these landmines here. power up and just keep going. And these guys are only going to come down to a certain point. So you really only want to and then you want to run up to them afterwards because they are going to swing you and they are going to throw you right into the next stage. <laughs> There we go. See you later. You entered into the mine to succeed in this revolution. You must destroy it. But you should also save all these other people just kind of hanging out on the side. You got a whip. You can just go to lasso them in. Just get that lasso going, you know. Pull all these people onto your mine cart, which seems really safe. Now, I don't need to be catching any of these um, hostages here because it truly doesn't matter as we're saving Cuba if we save the hostages or if we catch them in, a fr in friendly fire. But <laughs> it feels a little better to save some of them, you know. So I'm gonna... Plus, I like having a little something to do <laughs> Alright, and once we get out of there, we're immediately at the boss fight. I 
I gotta get him over there. That's not great. All right, down goes the boss. Thankfully, DTC also had a game over. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that kept me slightly ahead going into the next stage. As we head into the city. Running on through here. In these city levels, you really kind of want to hug the sides as much as you can. I'm gonna grab this. Ah. Almost got out of there. Couple unfortunate deaths there. Save a few more hostages. I actually wanted to take that death there because this. Oh, didn't want to take that one though. But fortunately. This one, you get to the end and you just get you just get swung around and thrown. He is slightly ahead of me now. <laughs> A very close race still at the 11 minute mark. Almost 12. Now this level in the sewers here, it's very important to get to the end with some sort of power-up. Really helps you through that last fight. But, not doing a great job with that so far. <laughs> Alright, so there's an early game over. Ah, uh, fortunate. Get that extra life, that will definitely help us. Get on land as much as you can. We just got game over at the same point. <laughs> All right, so here's where you want you want to get power ups so that you can clear this area out here. There's definitely just a finite amount of enemies that you need to kill to clear this stage. Alright, now we're in a good spot. You just really kind of want to be in a good spot to, oh, to, clear, to clear those guys out. Alright, so now it's blown up. But we are still dead even. <laughs> and that's what you need for a 3.30 in the morning race. Is to have a little bit of tension in the air. And that's what we've got here tonight, folks. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
All right, so here we have our second city stage. Kind of similar to the first. More helicopters, though. Very hard to avoid the helicopters. They, they do come across most of the stage, but... you avoid a couple helicopters there which is out of character for me as you've seen by watching this run I don't avoid many many things or deaths <laughs> at this point in my guerrilla war running career Slightly, slightly behind at this point. But still within a couple seconds of each other, so... Definitely anyone's race. Who will be the first to save Cuba from Fidel Castro? It is evil regime. Another game over. Not ideal. Just game overs all day. behind here as we are heading into the final stage must break in to the palace and destroy the leader just for all the marbles right here Will it be RDDP? Will it be DD DTC? <laughs> it's hard to say both of those things right now. Not off to a great start here. Down. 
Ah, uh, got a game over there. Get the, this is the final boss right here. And time. Alright, close race all the way to the end. And that's time for DTC. Probably like got 21.30. Alright, well, that was Guerrilla War, run and gun extravaganza. We have saved Cuba from reign of terror of Fidel Castro and Che Guevara, so um, thank you but once again, I'm Real Deal DePiro this is DTC and um, definitely toss us a follow if you so choose <laughs> thank you